Hey guys, I'm back. In the last part, we locked down Zhuo's old 10th weapon. And now, we're going to lock another one. The next one we're going to get is Zhang Jiao's. So, Musa mode is not required. So, during free mode, we got to go to the G province. Play the Yellow Turban Rebellion under the Yellow Turbans. And obviously, it's Zhang Jiao. And I'll show the fifth model, like always. Alright, here we go. So, we know the objectives. The equipment, the weapon, or the fire staff for level 9, the items. The only thing I want to swap out is 7 star sash and replace it with the elixir. The bodyguards will leave it too. The unit info. For the yellow turbans, you have Zhang Jiao, which is me, Zhou Song, and Han Xian, Zhang Bao, and Wang Xiao, Zhang Liang, and Liu Pi, Pei Yuan Xiao, He Yi, and Yan Zhang, Bo Zhang, and Dunk Mao, Zhang Wan Chang, Wan Hai, Chang Yuanji, and Gao Shang. For the Han forces, you have He Jin, Gan Sun San, and Zhao Yun, Zhu Jun, and Huang Fu Song. Obviously, you have Sun Jian, Cao Cao, Liu Bei, Yuan Xiao, Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu, but uh, they will appear later. But, anyways, well, let's do it. So, to get Zhang Jiao's level 10 weapon, all you have to do is defeat every general and officer. Up to Hergine. Save Hergine for last. So that also means defeating Sun Jian, Cao Cao, Liu Bei, Yuan Shao. Once you defeat Hergine, Dang Zhuo will appear. Defeat Hua Xiang. But on top of that, doing all of that, make sure you keep both Zhang Bao and Zhang Liang alive the entire time. So, uh,. It can be a bit tricky, and yes, it's pretty much a uh, tweaked version of the uh, level, well not level, but ending number 4 special requirement. The only difference is I'm actually doing it up to a certain point, and I'm only defending two generals. Meanwhile, I have to make sure no one died if I was going for ending number 4. So anyways, we'll go for Huang Fu Song first since he's right here. Song is down. Alright, so that's one down. Many more to go. But uh, I'll go and defeat Zhao Dun, Zhao Yuan, and Cao Cao in no particular order. Well, obviously, Cao Cao for last. I'm pretty sure I have to defeat every officer on top of that. So I'll just play it safe and defeat both Zhao Dun and Zhao Yuan. But, um, I won't be challenging or accepting any duels just for the fact that you already know if I do my items will be negated so anyways all right there's Jaho Dune there we go So far, so good. That was not supposed to happen. That really wasn't supposed to happen. Alright, Zhao Dune is down. Alright, so now I'll go for Zhao Yu one and we'll take it from there. Say your prayers. Enemy reinforcements have appeared in the west. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe I should have it all eight, but you know what? That's fine. You know, I, I'll improvise. Anyway, Jaho you want is almost down anyways. It's just really fucking easy for Jaho you want or anyone really to fucking block. Maybe it's for the fact I'm playing on one of the hardest stages. Anyway, Jaho you want is down. Alright, we'll go for South South now. I will defeat you. Yeah, that's the type of combos I'm trying to get. Except with the Vorpal Helmet app activated. Anyways. Alright, South South's down. Oh great, so now I have to deal with you one shout. I mean, I knew he would appear, but... They are strong. Our greatest peril will be you know what, screw it. I'll go for Yan Liang, Wen Cho, and Yuan Shao now. I mean, it doesn't matter how I do it. As long as I defeat her gene last. Anyway, here's Wen Cho. Really? You know what? Fuck it. I wasn't even ready for that. That was definitely needed. Alright, now I got you. Alright, one chose down. Now go for Yang Liang. We can't fall behind. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna go straight for officers and generals. That way I don't have to worry about uh, issues later on. Anyway, here's Yang Liang. Yang Liang is down. Now I'll go for Yuan Shao. Then we'll head over to Gansun San and Zhao Yun and defeat them. So good. That was needed. Really? Yeah, nice try. Alright, now we gotta go over there quick. Alright, Yuan Shao is down. Now we have for Zhao Yun and, uh, Gunsun Sun. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about keeping everybody alive. It's just Zhang Bao and Zhang Liang. Um, yeah, let's see here. I think... Okay, as soon as Xian's over there... Alright, we'll go for Zhao Yun first. 
even though Gunstone San is attacking Chong Yuanji. And there goes Chong Yuanji. If I was going for ending number four, obviously it would have been over by now, but I'm just throwing that out there. Anyways, here's Zhao Yun. It'll be over here somewhere. Uh. Okay. Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. Let us join our allies. I will defeat you. Ambush party approaching from the center. Alright, so everyone is here that I need to defeat. I think my biggest issue is gonna be Zhao Yun. Yep, I definitely need that. Alright, Zhao Yun's down. I thought I was going to have a hard time with him, but anyways. So, Zhao Yun is down. We'll go for Gansun San next. And uh, any duels that occur, I will be declining. There's Liu Bei. I will be your opponent. Uh, there's Gansun San. I just want to make sure I actually defeat the right generals and officers at the right time. So defeating Guan Yu first would be better at the moment, but Gansun San will be an issue. Yeah, let's, uh, fuck that. Let's go for one guy. No, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Uh... There we go. That should finish him off, unless I miss, like that, and that, and that, and he just got a health pack, great. Well, one guy's down. Alright, so if one guy's down, I could go for Sun Jian right now if I really want to, i uh, wait. If there's one Yu, I'm definitely going to mount that horse before I do anything else. Okay, Gantum Sun's got fucking full health. That's a massive kick in the nuts right there. Well, at least Gantum Sun isn't really that much of a force. One use down. Alright, so Guan Yu's down. Now it doesn't matter who I defeat because all three Sun Jian, Gan Sun San, and Liu Bei are all here. And I defeated all three of their officers, respectively Zhao Yun, uh, one guy, and Guan Yu. So, as I said before, it doesn't matter who I defeat next. But they gotta stop fucking getting health back. I'm just saying.
There's way too many of these guys. As long as I can get one of them out, that's fine. Really? What the actual fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, it's one down. I'm like, these two have pretty much no fucking health and they're still alive. What the actual flying fuck? Alright, he's down. Good rinse. That was bad. Anyways. I mean, it is considered one of the hardest stages in the game. I still think Chung Du tops it all of it, but... I think it's more the fact that I really don't play this stage as much, which is why I know how to get around Chung Du really quickly and very easily. But here, different story. Because what, I only played a stage, what, I'll say six times now in this Let's Perfect, and before that, that was weird. Anyways, um, before I did this Let's Perfect, I probably played a stage twice, and that's it. So, anyways. Now I'll go for Juju. There we go. Now I'll go for Hergeen. Since he's the only one left. And as I said before, we have to save him for last. And he's the only one left. Then once I defeat Hergeen, I have to bolt all the way over to where Zhang Bao and Zhang Liang is, where I would normally where my where Zhang Jia would be if you're playing the stage under the Han forces. And uh defeat Wash Young. Alright, he has to stop fucking blocking. You know, I got a better idea. That was the idea, but I didn't get him. Anyways, there we go. Once again, wrong guy. Alright, this ain't happening again. There we go. I was gonna say, there's no way he's gonna be at zero health and he's still staying alive for as long as he has. But, anyway, Hergeen is down. Now I gotta bolt all the way over to where the Zhang brothers are. That way they don't die. And defeat Hua Xiang quickly. Then I'll get the weapon. Alright. And that's why I grabbed the red hair, because I'll be able to get there much faster. But on top of that, as you know, with the Shadow Harness combined, if you start with the Shadow Harness, then grab a red hair, you'll have the red hair speed with the Shadow Harness attached to that red hair. I don't know how that works, but take full advantage of that. As, as, as I said before, not only it works on the red hair, but it also works on other horses and other mounts like elephants. So, take full advantage of that. I'm just saying. Anyways, so. Now we just gotta go and defeat Hua Xiang quickly. 
at this point, if either Zhang brother falls, it's game over. Well, for the weapon. And there we go. Got it. Oh, I should have obtained it. There we go. The Volcano Staff. Now, all I have to do now is complete the stage. So, all we have left is Dong Zhuo, and then after we defeat Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu will appear. Anyway. Of course, another fucking Wusu attack. Anyways, we're almost done. That is if he doesn't take a year and two thirds to fucking defeat. That's the third Musu attack. Alright, there we go. That took longer than it should have. I'm just saying. Anyways, Dong Zhuo's down. So, now Lu Bu will appear, then we'll defeat Lu Bu. And he really shouldn't be that difficult. But as I said before, one on one, I'll be able to defeat anybody. It's just the troops that could get in the way. Like that. That's what happens when you get in my way. I'm not even trying to go for them, and you already see that. And... Call that one early. And Lupu's down. And that's a win. Alright, so uh, that's another weapon down. That took us quite a bit, but still, at the end of the day, we got it done. It took us 19 minutes and 11 seconds, not half bad. The items, I doubt we got anything good. Nope, nothing. So our KO count is 163. Our worthy opponent count is 18. We defeated everybody in the stage, and uh, we're going to get a lot of points. I'll probably say around 6,000. Okay, maybe more than that. 6,672 points. Okay. Not that it matters, because Zhang Jiao's rank is at max. weapon. There it is, the Volcano Staff with an attack power of 52 and just like any other level 10 weapon, if you have an elemental orb equipped, you could use it even if your Musu gauge is not filled up all the way. Anyways, the bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits, we'll save, and before I sign off, let me show you the progress that we have done because 
really pretty much got every character's weapon. The only ones that we are missing, obviously, are the edits. So, as I said before, the more level 10s appear, the less level 9s appear. So, the only five that we're missing are the edits, and I'll go through those in the next few parts. And then, we'll move on to the next thing in this game, or expansion, I should I should say, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, I'll just worry about the five uh, weapons I need to get for now. But uh, anything else I need to show off? Um, I mean, I did get better items. Uh, I got the herbal remedy up to 18, elixir 18. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get everything to 20. I tried that with Dynasty Warriors 3, but that really gave me a hard time just to get the wind scroll just at that 19 but we'll see I'm not gonna promise that but I've gotten everything as high as I really want to be I mean that herbal remedy was bugging me at 13 but now it's at 18 so I'm fine with that I mean personally so anyways so with that being said um yeah that's pretty much it so in the next part well you can watch my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part, where we'll go and unlock another level 10 weapon, which will be the five edits. But the first one we're going to go for is the edit sword, and I believe it is this one. And note that whichever gender I use for that particular weapon, besides the rapier and the great axe, like the sword, spear, and pike, that's the particular general I will be using again. The only difference might be the uh, color of the armor. Other than that, pretty much the same. So, with that being said, peace out.